in class today we didn't follow the document for today's class very closely we'll pick up on that next time but we did uh, try to make a table for three flips of a coin number of heads how many ways you can get that number of heads then we did the same for three and uh, for four flips and for five flips uh, we didn't list the table for five flips so um, you should uh, create your own table for five flips they should not look at what I've got here create tables for three and four flips even if you're in class you should be able to recreate those tables fairly quickly and reason that through so uh, for three flips there are there's one way to get no heads three ways to get one three ways to get two and one way to get three now we shouldn't have to discuss this at this point but it turned out that we did how many ways are there uh, or what's at least one way in which you could get these results what does all this mean well it means if I got three coins well I've got three slots to fill let's say I've got a quarter a dime and a nickel so this would be the result on the quarter this the result on the dime this the result on the nickel what's the sample space we had to divert to listing the sample space so that we could understand this okay the sample space uh, would consist of heads 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 tails heads tails heads etc there are eight um, possible outcomes in the sample space and I'm actually going to take the time uh, don't mind the time I'm going to take up the board space to quickly write down the sample space for three flips the sample space and uh, we've done this extensively before we've listed sample spaces for two three four flips um, maybe even for five flips we've listed we've talked about the process why the number of outcomes doubles every time you add a coin etc you should review all of that uh, but let me just get you back into the framework of it uh, heads 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 tails heads tails heads heads tails 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 heads heads tails heads tails 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 heads tails 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 right there is the sample space consisting of the eight possible outcomes when you flip three coins uh, we could also depict that using a tree diagram heads or tails on the first coin then whatever happens in the first coin we've got a heads or tails on the second so if the first coin is heads we've got heads tails here it's tails we've got heads tails here and that gives us the outcomes for the first two coins and for each of those we pin heads tails on the end and we get again a listing uh, uh, not a listing but a device that allows us to say what the sample space is heads 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 tails heads tails heads heads tails tails in the same order that we have it listed here I won't read the rest of it to you and it's obvious from this why the number of possible outcomes doubles every time you add a coin because every time you're going to have to add a heads tails onto what you've already got okay and also there's Pascal's triangle here's Pascal's triangle here's the row one three three one that's relevant to making this table well how many ways are there to get no heads well there's only tails 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 every other outcome has at least one head how many ways to get exactly one head well let's see there's one here there's one here and there's one here that's three so there are three ways to get exactly one head and of course you could trace it through the tree diagram and see the same thing uh, and then there are three ways to get two heads and one way to get three heads and these numbers give us one interpretation of the combination formula c of three zero is one c of three one is three c of three two is three c of three three is three we know that these are the combinations because for example to get two heads we have to pick two of the three positions in which to put heads so there are three possibilities for the first position two possibilities for the second so there are six possibilities for the two positions in which the heads appear in order 
and you divide that by the two ways that they could appear in different orders. And I'm not going to give a complete explanation of that now. That's all been explained. It's on video. It was done in class. So we need to try to understand that and why these combination formulas work the way they do. In any case, using that machinery, and you should understand every possible way we could use the machinery uh, to get these results. There is one way to get no heads, three ways to get one, three ways to get two, one way to get three. And then we can make a histogram of that. Well, here's the histogram, okay? Uh, representing the one way to get no heads, the three ways to get one, the three ways to get two, and the one way to get three heads. And I also observed that we can sketch a bell-shaped curve based on this distribution. 